Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. Now, I know we've all had a very challenging couple of years, but I'm confident you've all brought your best ideas about how to bolster Prague tourism this year. Yep, I'm here. We can start now. Ah, Old Town. Thank you for taking the time. But as you can see from the signage which we posted last meeting, this is a Segway free zone. It's not a Segway. It's a Sugwa. It's kind of a cross between a lime scooter and a hoverboard. New concept, totally legal. Back, moving on. We are here today as representatives of Prague's most visited neighborhoods to craft a marketing strategy, how to increase Prague tourism this summer and really put Prague in the top five European capitals to visit. Done. <clears throat> we don't want to attract the wrong type of tourists. What wrong kind of tourist? What, the paying kind? Ah uh, yes, the roving bands of pasty, costumed Englishmen. How could Prague survive without them? Now, Vino Roddy has a point. In the past, our marketing materials have really overemphasized the whole beer is cheaper than water thing. Cheap beer. Done. Can I go now? This guy calls 99 crowns for a beer cheap. There's your 99 crowns. So that's your solution to rampant stag parties. You'd like to advertise even cheaper beer. I don't advertise. Really, the drug dealers just find you all on their own. I don't discriminate either. Just come. Can I ask you please to not graffiti on the table? Vinarati, look, I hear you. And I agree. I think this is the perfect opportunity for us to move past the party town reputation that Prague has acquired over the years. Don't stop for me. Oh, monthly flood drill. So, tourism. What have we got? Old Town and Zhishkov here were just trying to lure international tourists away from Paris and Barcelona and Amsterdam with, what was it? Cheap beer and snacks? Ah, oh, I forgot about snacks. Does not even check. Tourists want authenticity. If they want an authentic one of those, they'd go to Budapest. But we put ice cream in it. Frankly, we need to think bigger than Hungarian pastries. Prague's reputation needs to be elevated on the world stage. We're not strip clubs and Irish pubs. I mean, okay, we're not only strip clubs and Irish pubs. Prague is the center of culture. We should be promoting our theater, our classical music, our museums. Sex Machines Museum. Yeah. Torture Museum? Hi, hi. When is it my turn? Who is she? Never seen her. And you are? Totally. Ah, yes, I forgot. Radchanska is out dealing with another political scandal, and in her place, we've invited Puddley. Ah, I see you've prepared materials. Oh, goody. Thank you, Madam Minister. It is my great honor to sit at the same table as such elegant districts as Vinohradi. An old town. Well, I, I love your work. Oh, no, thank you, I, I brought my own snacks. I am Podoli, and I, <clears throat> while Prague is known for such international landmarks as the Prague Castle and the astronomical clock, I think it's important to promote some local landmarks. The Czech Yacht Club. 
We have a yacht club? Yes. With actual yachts? Um, no. But the Czech Yacht Club is the perfect waterfront location to showcase an exhibition of Prague's most fascinating and prolific local wildlife. The Nutria. We've got rats. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> yes, while similar to a rat, the Myocaster coipus actually has webbed feet, which make it an excellent swimmer. It can stay submerged in the river for more than five minutes. In, in the water? Oh yes, totally. I remember you now. You haven't been feeding the nutria, have you? No? How about we make the tourists go in the water and catch the rats? Listen, people don't come to Prague for the water sports. People come for festivals. I was gonna say festivals. What about beer festivals? Artisanal beer festivals. And we'll need food. Burger cook-offs. Pulled pork cook-offs. Ooh, pulled pork is good. With activity booths, like face painting for the kids. Ooh, tattoo booths. But instead of getting a tattoo, you get to give them. Yeah. Petting zoos. But the animals are on the outside of the cages, and the people are on the inside. Listen, people, we need to focus. Festivals are fine, but we need a motto. A motto? Last year's slogan didn't really pack the punch we were hoping for. Prague Vove. Seriously, Vove? <laughs> That might have had something to do with it. <laughs> eh. Okay, back to festivals. What have we got? Ideas? I get a friend in a band. It's not really a band. It's just him and a harmonica. Tourists want wine festivals. Italian wines and Austrian wines and French cheeses. And ooh, a Latin American street fair. So you act like you're the United Nations over there. We know you're just a bunch of English teachers. English teachers can't afford me. I mean, if you want to talk about food, everybody knows that Carlin's the place. Enjoy it while you're still above the waterline. You're just jealous because all the cool kids are moving to me. Kind of heavy metal, but folky. What we need is more all-you-can-drink, all-night boat parties. Pop swingy. Cabaret. Ahoy, Jack Daniels. And their teeth are exceptionally hard and orange. So you want the tourists to feed the rats? No, I explicitly told her not to feed Free them. Free shots, loud music. But why don't you grow up? Oh, why don't you stop pretending you're too good for a cheap beer? That's not a cheap beer. And don't think that the tourists are going to come hey. because of... The problem with all of you is that you're trying to be something you're not. Jack Daniels and Hungarian pastries? Latin American street fairs? I mean, do you even speak Spanish? Mm -hmm. Even your rat is an import. You're trying to be the San Francisco hipster and the British hooligans and the bougie French sommeliers or whatever. You're all afraid to just be who you are. So, who are we? We are Prague, the best city in Europe. Vov, Prague, the best city in Europe. The best city in Europe. Prague, the best bleeping city in Europe. I think we've done it. Well done. And in our next meeting, we can work on expanding this concept to increase tourism outside of Prague in the rest of the Czech Republic. Why would we do that? That's a good one. Nah. To the rest of where? 
Ahoy Vashikni, Jen here, the original Jen. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you are lucky enough to visit Prague this year, I hope I've piqued your interest in getting off the beaten path and discovering the fascinating neighborhoods of Prague that aren't necessarily in your guidebook. And of course, I highly encourage you to swing by a festival or two, because we've got a lot of them. Now, if you like my videos, I hope you'll subscribe and hit the bell. When you do, it helps others discover my channel. If you want to show your Prague pride this summer, I'm very excited to announce something that we've been working on for a long time. Our collection of Dream Prague neighborhood t-shirts. Hansa and I worked closely with a local artist here in Prague to showcase our favorite parts of the city. Each has a unique design representative of our favorite areas of Prague. I put a lot of time and energy into my videos because I want to share everything I learned about this city and this country with you. Most videos, especially this one, take days to write and film and edit and publish. And I never put them behind a paywall because I want as many people to learn about Prague and about the Czech Republic as possible. So if you'd like to support this channel and the work I do, please check out the new Dream Prague shop in the description box below to see all the current designs. And I'll let you know as soon as I add more. When you purchase any Dream Prague merchandise, you help me support this channel and enable me to keep bringing you more weekly videos. So thank you. Uvidimise příště. Ahoj.